What's up YouTube, it's Devin and I'm back again and today I'm going to discuss something that is very, very important and something you don't really learn about until you get your first base. Now, I think you guys have all guessed it, college. Yup. So one of my previous videos I talked about the bills you get, the Montgomery and the post 9-11, talk about both of those. This is going to be actually about like what it's like to take college in the Air Force because I've done a little bit of college in the Air Force. To start off, you do get college credits for tech school and BMT. So boom, once you finish both of those, you already got a little bit of college. And in order to get some more college credits, you first need to finish your upgrade training. Your upgrade training would be your CDCs, which I also talked about in a previous video. WTF or CDCs? What the fuck are CDCs? So, I explained those and the importance of them. But anyways, so that is your upgrade training and you need to finish that first. So, <clears throat> for some careers you have three volumes, like mine. Other ones, you have like 10 to 12 volumes that are super fucking long. And you gotta test for each of them. So, it all depends on how lucky you really get and. <laughs> What was your choice? But anyways, <clears throat> so after you finish your upgrade training, you need to get your supervisor's approval. Most supervisors are really cool and are like, yeah, take college. Others are like, no, no college. You suck as an airman. Or you don't need that. You need to focus on your job, not college. You know, stuff like that. Most will let you take college, especially if it's towards your CCAF. And your CCAF is your Community College of the Air Force degree what you get for you know your job the degree you get for your job if you're going after that you're pretty much it's pretty much like yeah just go ahead do it take college classes but if not then they might be like no you're fine it all depends on your supervisor let's say you got your supervisor's approval now you got to go to a TA brief TA brief pretty much lets you know about your bills right if you didn't like watch my previous video if you haven't watched my previous video about them you'll get to know even more about them through the TA briefing and then they talk about TA I know I keep on using TA like you guys know what it means uh, but for those of you that don't because I didn't know what TA meant before the Air Force it is tuition assistance alright so pretty much it'll pay for a certain amount of your tuition now after you've done that so you <clears throat> finish your upgrade training you talk to your supervisor and got permission you have uh, got your TA brief. Now, what What else do you think you could do? Take the class? No, you're wrong. No, you don't get to take the class yet. No, because the Air Force wants you to have a plan. So you're gonna go on to AFVEC, which is Air Force Virtual Education Center. Who all these fancy acronyms. But uh, <clears throat> you go on there and you make a plan, like, huh, what class are you gonna take? Um, what is this degree towards? Is it towards your CCAF or what? And then uh, what's the school you plan on going to? And all this. Do you plan on using TA? Hopefully you do because you're smart. Or maybe you're going to be a dumbass and not use TA. Who knows? Or maybe you just can't use TA because you got in some trouble. Now, there ain't nothing wrong with that. So you've done that. Now, there is one catch though. If your final grade at the end of the class is below a C average, then you're going to have to pay what your tuition was back to the Air Force and if you don't know yet the Air Force will make sure that they get their money in case you don't know yet so what that means they're gonna garnish your wages or all this other shit mainly garnish the wages but yeah so you're gonna have to pay that back now let's say you get an A well then you're cool and if you're going towards your CCAF then you are looking real good on paperwork for awards and below the zone Below the zone, for those of you guys that don't know, aka BTZ, is pretty much a way to rank up six months early to E4. Now, if you want a special video on that, let me know and I'll explain BTZ, how to get BTZ. Am I going to for BTZ? Am I? Fuck. Well, if you ask and really want to know, let me know and I'll make a video and I'll explain if I am or not. But anyways, I hope this video was very helpful for y'all. I hope you guys all take college <laughs> if you really want to. And if you got questions about this or really anything, just let me know in the comments or whatever, and I'll be sure to make a video and answer your questions for you. Please do the Holy Trinity for me. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out.